Imagine eating only the foods our ancestors used to eat in the Stone Age. For today's challenge, we're going to take you back in time to the Paleolithic era, which occurred two and a half million to ten thousand years ago. We'll see what happens to your body on the Paleo diet for an entire year. But don't worry, we won't make you hunt your food. Could the paleo diet lower your risk of heart disease? Or could it end up doing the opposite? This is your body on the paleo diet for one year. During the Paleolithic era, humans weren't farmers. They were hunters and gatherers. Their diets were limited to fish, lean meats, fruits, vegetables, and seeds. That means no grains, legumes, dairy, or processed foods. Obviously, on the paleo diet, 30% of your calorie intake comes from protein, 40% from fats, and 30% from carbohydrates. As you can see, meat is a big part of this nutritional regimen. Lucky for you, back then they had already discovered fire. Otherwise, you'd be eating everything raw. Ugh, but that's for another episode. So, is the paleo diet healthy? And why does it give you bad breath? Pop a mint and stick around to find out. Month one. Okay, you're off to a great start. In the first few months, you're losing weight. Your cholesterol levels are dropping because you cut out dairy and. Your blood pressure is improving from avoiding salt, sugar, and processed foods. Although you might start to experience bowel discomfort. It will likely be temporary and go away once your gut gets used to your new regimen. You might crave foods that you can't eat, but so far, so good. Month three. After a couple of months on this diet, you're used to it. You're learning to make paleo alternatives to foods you crave but are off limits, like cheese. And your energy levels are rising. It looks like all the veggies and lean meats are providing your body with tons of fuel. But your breath stinks. Well, that's because your body contains less insulin. And with fewer calories, you're producing more ketones in your bloodstream. Ketones are chemicals produced by your liver, and they can give you terrible breath. After all, cave dwellers didn't have toothpaste, did they? Month six. Okay, you're halfway through this challenge, but as your body transitions to burn more fat, you feel tired and lethargic. A study conducted in 2009 found people who followed the paleo diet. Decreased the amount of insulin they secreted. That made the insulin in their body more efficient and lowered the risk of insulin resistance. For you, this means a lower risk of developing type 2 diabetes. But if you aren't careful, you could become too deficient in insulin. And if you have diabetes, this could cause hypoglycemia, a low sugar level in your blood. And this could lead to seizures and an irregular heartbeat. Month 12. After one year without consuming whole grains and dairy, you have deficiencies in vitamin D, B vitamins, and calcium. Besides that, it looks like your diet isn't balanced. You're eating tons of red meat. Now you're at risk of cardiovascular disease and diabetes. Now that's what I call putting your life at stake, and unfortunately, you've gained all the weight you lost in the first few months. Yeah, the paleo diet is a good regime in the short term, but not so much in the long run. No matter what you eat, it's best to have a balanced diet and exercise regularly. Okay, if the paleo diet isn't for you. How about going on the keto diet for one year? Well, that sounds like a challenge for another episode of Your Body On.